Hello boys and girls, what's going on? It's Tom. And it's Jamie. Welcome to the Chronicles of Podcast. The Chronicles of Bloodstock 2023. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time out to chat to us today. We massively appreciate it. But how are you doing today? Yeah, all good. Great. All good, yeah. yeah. I think uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit tired now. Don't know about <laughs> you. But I am, uh, I'm buzzing to get a cheeky little power nap in. Just a bit of 10 minutes. That's what yeah. I need. <laughs> that gets you the rest of the day. I'm actually looking forward to a Guinness. I, want a, I fancy a Guinness right now. Oh, I'm don't gonna, even. Uh, get, yeah, get one in. Yeah. 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 That would be spectacular. Yeah, you make me one now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's good. That's amazing. I mean, when did you get it? Did you get it today? Yeah, what, what time? About half nine? Ten? Yeah, ten? about ten. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Went yeah. straight to, to the main stage, loaded it, got stuff ready, and then, yeah. And you managed to check anybody out whilst you've been here? Uh, no. I, I wish I had, but no, I haven't. It's just all of a sudden everything starts to blur in, and you start yeah. having to do stuff, signings. I've had to do interviews throughout the day, as, as has Angus, yeah. and yeah, things just blur in. And I blur in together, and I've missed fucking everyone. I, want, I really want to see Crowbar, and then started to play... I've seen him loads, and all of a sudden I was like, I can't be bothered to move. Plotted <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on your seat, it just like, yeah. yeah. How was the how was the set earlier on the main stage? Yeah, it seems to go down really well, and apparently it sounded amazing out front. So give a little cheeky bonus to our sound guy after this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you're allowed out now. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, are, you are free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I suppose we'll get you out of the chains. It's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently it sounded incredible out front, so that's great to hear. Nah, yeah. that's amazing. I mean. Um, obviously, with say an earned gig, for example, compared to a festival show, do you alter the the setup, uh, the sorry, the playlist exactly? If it's, if it's an earned show, it's like people go know who you are, like listen. To, but a festival, obviously, a lot of people might not be aware of you, so it's like let's yeah. get the bangers out, just get all the bangers out yeah. and draw people in. I think so. I think we, yeah, you have to kind of be a bit wise, a bit smart with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we. Uh, I think now we've got two albums worth. We're gonna. It'd be nice for us to be able to mix it up a bit more. But also, especially with like our Bloodstock set today, I mean, like, how many times do you go to watch a band and they play loads of new ones and you don't know? Yeah. So you don't know them yet, and the album just came out yesterday. So it's like, no, well, we'll keep some of the the old ones in, a few new ones in there. But yeah, it was a very like catered set list for Bloodstock. Yeah. Amazing. So us as a podcast, we are ambassadors for the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. Oh, nice. Are you aware of Sophie and her story yeah, and what happened totally. there? Yeah, totally. So. Is this something you guys have ever had to enjoy yourself being treated differently, whether it be abuse hurled at you, and I hope to God not physical violence, simply because of the music you listen to, the way you're dressed, whatever it may be? Personally speaking, I'd, I, I've never had that. And, you know, I mean, other people, like Angus might have had to, some uh, number of different things compared to me. Um, obviously, for me, I, I was fortunate to grow up in a really like mixed culture area in South London, I think that's like the best learning lesson I've ever had. So you know, I was I was fortunate from a young age to all my mates are from like literally different parts of the world, and it was just like I, I learned you know everyone just got along and just got on with it. And you know, there might have been a few things when you're in school, someone might have done something, but beyond that, I don't think so. And I, I've, I've never allowed it, you know, I, you know. But obviously, different people, you know, are fully aware of what happened, yeah. you know, uh, kind of growing up would have been maybe around my age now and you just think fuck the, 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 the you know it's, 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 you know it's terrible but Angus yeah. might have a completely different situation to myself well, yeah I mean like also growing up in London fortunately as Joe said it's been like a a mix of cultures like in London I mean there'd be the the odd comment thrown at me here and there not in terms of like being into the music I'm into or anything but just like racial comments here and there yeah i mean you kind of just like yeah you just have to they're stupid comments and it's just ignorance isn't it so yeah. i mean yeah yeah it's exactly what it is it's, 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 it's ignorance absolutely yeah. is but obviously being aware of sophie's story and this great relationship that sophie and the sophie lancaster foundation and bloodstock have you know they've got the stage yeah. named after her, the foundation's here every single year does it make playing at bloodstock just that little bit extra special knowing you're flying the flag for that for yeah. that a place that represents that foundation and supports this 
Well, funny enough, I said to someone earlier in another interview, there's something about coming here for me, be it as a, a, a person in the band or a punter, or whatever it may be, being invited as a friend of, of the festival. I think for me, there is something special about it and the way you see how people are here and, and what it does mean, not just not just for like Sophie, but just in general, there's so much more happening and there's so much more diversity like coming through anyway. And like, and people are making like really aware there's so many like different tents around like the, the park the, the the festival park but yeah i i, I feel like being here there, there is something special and I, i've always felt that and um you, you, you know you'll look around and it's there's all there's all different characters should we say and um yeah there's something beautiful about it and um it's great to see that the you know that is still a thing it's not just been like you might see at other festivals where they name a stage after whatnot, and it, but it actually truly means something, and it's become an important thing. It's become an important thing for like young bands to go. Yeah, fucking, hell, I want to play the Sophie stage, and it's a great stage. Like yeah. we've been fortunate enough to play it. It's a great stage, and yeah, it's it's um it's great, and I feel like it really represents. It ch- tells you a lot about Bloodstock. Tells you a lot about the fans, and um, it's great that it does still mean something, and it's kept its importance. It's great. And I don't, I don't know if you've noticed this, but it's something we've noticed this weekend. There's so many kids here. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's babies here. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so one thing we're asking people, and on behalf of the foundation, is what do you think they could do going forward to help those kids as they're growing up, becoming into this culture? You know, as they grow up, they're becoming our age. Then maybe even playing that stage one day and making them know that it's okay to be different. What sort of support do you think the foundation could give those kids? I mean, I, for me, like as an older gentleman, I'm quite excited about what the, the, the younger generation are going to be going through because now it's like, no, don't do that. Don't say whatnot. I was like, personally speaking, growing up, I said I went to a very mixed area, like area but I was I was into everything and anything. I'd fucking listen. I'd play football. I'd go and miss, hang out with the metal lads. I'd go and do anything just to get along and have a laugh. And I think what I'm buzzing about was the younger generation. There's such a thing now of, no, that is wrong. And they will tell each other. And I think fucking things are going to be really different moving forward. And I think that's something to be, that's something as a, as a grown up now to be excited about. And I'm excited to see like how the younger generation will fly the flag for themselves and the people around them. And yeah, I, I think you're always going to get, a, you're always going to get a couple of fucking idiots. That's just how, that's how life and the world has been since the fucking beginning. And, um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what the future generation will do because I think it's going to be very, very different. It's, yeah. I'd like you to say, it is amazing to see young people stand up for themselves. Yeah. It's absolutely great to see. Yeah. And I hope it continues. Yeah, definitely. I really do hope it continues. Mm-hmm. But moving back on to you guys, new album mm-hmm. came out yesterday. Correct. Like, that must be bonkers to be like, okay, let's release an album and tomorrow we're going to go play main stage at Bloodstock. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I mean, it was kind of like, we were thinking about release dates and stuff for when it should come out and it just felt right to release it on this weekend. A kind of a good weekend to celebrate it and play Bloodstock at the same time. So yeah, it kind of like worked out perfectly. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We really thought about <laughs> yeah, it, and it, that was the one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was the weekend to have it out. Yeah. You've got a record release show on the seventeenth mm-hmm. uh, down in London. Are you excited for that? Yeah, it's it's cool. It's a bit of an event, isn't it? It's like you know, we're only going to play a short set. But it's going to be a few different things. I think I'm going to be talking about the album, answering some questions of a host, free merch, and free merch bits, and what have you. And uh, yeah, it's going to it's going to be exciting. And it's, it's just yeah. The album. yeah. And we're going to have, I'm going to have a load of friends there. So anytime I start getting gobby, <laughs> I get brought back down to you to earth. So <laughs> thank, thank fuck. That's I'm, I'm very fortunate in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, before you let it get out of here, are you going to be doing a tour of the album? Yeah, yeah. That'll be announced soon. Okay, lovely. I was going to say, I don't think we could talk about it, but that, no, that's great news. No, that'll be announced soon. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I can't tell you when it is, but we're announced soon. That's fine. Soon. Yeah. Well, I'll, well, I'll look forward to it, all right? Yeah, big time, man. Right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there you go. Fuck you. <laughs> Boys, thank you so much. Yeah, Have a great so rest of your festival, all right? And we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you.